Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in this bitch. Real quick review because when I watch these movies, I just skip through a lot of them just, just to see the certain chapters, just to see exactly what the fuck we were dealing with here because I don't own them. Went over to my friends to see that bitch. This was reviewed on the Panasonic, the 900 version, and last year's flagship OLED, the G6. So let's get on with this bitch. Brass tanks. It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. This movie was shot in 35 millimeter. Some of it was shot in 70 millimeter. Digital Intermediate 2K, Visual Effects 2K, DTSX Master Audio. I'm not gonna talk about the movie because we done seen the movie a million times, right? But what I will talk about is a transfer. And the transfer is a very subtle upgrade from the 1080p. It's subtle. Some of you may miss it, some of you may see it. There is a little bit of extra depth. The color is improved, so you will notice the color. That'll be one of the first things you noticed. You'll notice detail in close-ups and in some shots, but it's not gonna be a night and day difference. It's not gonna uh, amaze you. It's not gonna astonish you. It just is what it is in this bitch. What is really good in this transfer is the black levels. Black levels are very important. Obviously, it helps you to see more details, the different degrees in black. The HDR in certain parts shines, but not shines to the point that it's gonna blow you away. Someone walking in could, could easily uh, uh, assume that you're just watching a regular 1080p. In terms of the color, it's inconsistent. And it's not inconsistent because there's something wrong with the HDR. That's the way the movie was shot. There are some cold scenes, there are some warm scenes. When it needs to be vibrant, the HDR does its thing. When it needs to be cold and muted, the HDR does its thing. So I would say the most notable things on this 4K transfer is the, the black levels. It's a little sharper. There is detail improvement in detail in parts, but it's not gonna blow you away, people. It's not gonna be in anyone's top list. Let's just keep it real. But if you love Harry Potter, then chances are you're gonna pick this up. I strongly suggest just waiting for a box set to come out because I think for what they are, they're full price 4K Blu-rays. And I don't think they're worth the full price for what you're getting. They're old movies, they're not new movies. Do you know what I mean? They're priced as new movies, so I would definitely wait for a box set. I wouldn't go investing in this bitch just yet, to be honest. It is what it is. These are really quick reviews on these movies, guys, because I haven't really gone in depth, but it is what it is. Shotgun style, real fast. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna catch you guys soon.